Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku Charts.com daily analysis for the Aussie dollar US dollar FX for Tuesday, May 21st, 2013. Well, a continuation of the, or a change of trend to the upside today, sorry, and uh, today's candle we've seen a candle with a higher high and a higher low, establishing that first time frame uptrend. Uh, prior to that, we had, uh, in bar chart terms, an inside day. It was a, a potential uh, hook reversal type pattern, and uh, not a perfect one, but almost. And uh, we have seen uh, the change of trend confirmed today, with the candle has made a higher high and a higher low. And uh, the market has interacted with the um, 98.59 level that was previous uh, solid support and resistance, and there we've seen some decent price rejection from that level and that will be a strong barrier to this market moving forward. The candle for today's trading uh, doesn't necessarily support the trend to the upside so even though we've established that upside uh, trend, we do have a black body candle. It's not the type of candle that we want to see. Uh, the black body denotes, denotes the sellers making net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close. So it tells us that the buyers have lost quite some momentum. And that's because of that 98.59 level coming into play. Uh, looking at where the market closed, it's closed just above the midpoint level. So the buyers have maintained control, but it's very, very weak control and uh, really not terribly significant and it's uh, as opposed to the previous day's candle where the buyers had taken control of the market following a series of large black body candles where the sellers were very strongly in control so the um, buyers have uh, really lost quite a, a, a large amount of control that they had and it does suggest that we might not see follow through in this market and there is potential for a change of trend back to the downside the only limiting factor here is this largest shadow on the bottom of the candle and that represents the sellers losing commitment when they traded down around uh, the 97.50 level and that uh, does suggest that there is potential for the buyers to come back in down around that level so we do need to watch the low of the current candle for a potential lower high and lower low. Now in terms of the Fibonacci extension and now that we're in a first time frame uptrend we're examining the relationship of that uptrend to the previous time of the market trending up and here we've seen the market interacting with the 100% level and we've seen the market rejected from above there so that does suggest that there is potential for a change of trend to the downside today. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement, we're examining the relationship of the first time frame uptrend to the previous time the market was trending down, and here we've seen the market uh, testing roughly to around the 23.6% level and being rejected from there. It's a minor level, but is important, and especially combined with the fact that the uh, buyers have uh, failed to uh, close this market with the amount of control that they did the, for the previous day's trading, the sellers have really gained some momentum. Uh, it, although haven't, they haven't gained control, it does suggest that there is a possibility of a change of trend, so we should be looking at the low of the current candle for a potential lower high and lower low. Now in terms of Ichimoku, obviously a bearish market in all three time frames. We have the uh, market trading down below the cloud, so bearish bias in the long term time frame and uh, this uh, as a trader we should be trading in line with that long term time frame and with the medium term time frame and timing our entry and exit into the market. So here uh, we've had a very strong uh, downtrend in place. We have strong overhead resistance at 98.59. We have a uh, weak candle uh, with this attempted rally. So we're looking for continued weakness to come into the market so we're looking for a potential lower high and lower low to be established so um, and th that would be in line with the higher time frames uh, with the uh, long term time frame being to the downside and the medium term time frame being to the downside and that's the kitchen sand that denotes the medium term time frame with the market trading below there looking at the tankard sand as well that's supporting the negativity that we're seeing in the short term time frame with the market trading below that uh, tankard sand as well Moving to the chicka spending, it's below the corresponding price action. So it's confirming what we're seeing in all three time frames. So a likely scenario is that if this market does rally, there is potential for us to find resistance around the 98.59 level once again. But uh, a likely scenario is for the market to sell off. Uh, if Watch the low of the current candle. If we do trade down through, there's potential for us to trade down to this previous low around 97. And then uh, solid potential for us to trade down to the 96.62 level over the next few days.